Hey folks, this week we're going to be making lobster mac and cheese with a twist. Now, if you read the title, you probably already know what the twist is, but please don't spoil it in the comments. To make a good lobster mac and cheese, you got to keep three things in mind. Lobster, mac, and cheese. And only one of those things is going to be more complicated than you think. It's not the macaroni. Surprisingly, we will be using garlic in this recipe, but we're going to use it in two different spots, so make two different piles. For optimal flavor and creaminess, you're going to want to mix two different kinds of cheeses, a hard cheese and a soft cheese. For today's shenanigans, we're going to be using a white aged cheddar and a nice soft gouda. Now, if you want to, you can make an afternoon out of grating it by hand, but we're going to outsource this one to the robot revolution. This will sound obvious, but white cheese will give you white sauce and yellow cheese will give you yellow sauce. There's something about yellow seafood that doesn't sit well with me, so I stick with white cheese sauce for seafood mac and cheese. Drop a chunk of butter in a large pot and chase it with some flour. Whisk until chunky. We want to darken our roux for extra flavor, so keep stirring until it looks like it came back from a warm vacation. Slowly add a splash of milk and mix until you see a paste and then add more milk. Keep alternating this process until you run out of milk, which can take a long time if you have a lot of cows. Season with salt, half your stash of minced garlic, and a generous splash of homemade chili paste. And then slowly add in all of your cheese, or add it all at once, and fold it in to create your cheese sauce. Add some olive oil to a large pan, along with the other half of garlic and toss in some pre-shelled lobster meat. For high volume lobster, it's way cheaper than buying entire bugs. Season with salt and pepper. Saute until your house smells. And push it into your cheese sauce. Make your mac. Dump your mac into a large casserole dish, then cover it in sauce. Give it a thorough mix to fill all your pasta with cheese and sea meat. Then top it with breadcrumbs or giant chunks of toasted gluten-free bread. Toss it in the oven until the top layer looks like it's ready for its Instagram debut. And there you go folks, lobster mac and cheese all week. Don't forget to eat a vegetable for dinner or your body will be very mad at you. Now, if you try this on your own, or if there's anything that you want to see me make, please leave a note in the comments below. If you enjoy this kind of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time.